Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Pleasant Hill. Welcome to Pleasant Hill's 8th Annual Community Service Day. I'm Vice Mayor Michael Harris on behalf of the City Council and our terrific Civic Action Commission that puts on this event. I want to thank all of you for being here and volunteering to help make Pleasant Hill the very best community that it can be. The community service program was developed a number of years ago here in the city to allow residents of the city to come together and come up with projects or needs of our community and then getting a bunch of people together to help take the time to make a difference and to help those projects come to fruition. Hi, I'm Jennifer Vanya and I'm the garden coordinator here at Valhalla Elementary and we are getting our garden beds full of soil today and um, we're going to be cleaning up our, our existing garden which is a California native garden and we're going to have a little seed project going on in a little while for the kids that are here so that we can get our winter garden in. A lot of vegetables uh, that will be growing in here for the next year and the teachers are going to start to add the garden into their curriculum. We hope that the kids will be able to at least eat what they grow. Um, if there's a bumper crop, we want to be able to contribute towards the um, school lunches. My name is Ben Nissen. Well, we're doing some uh, gardening cleanup, uh, cleaning up of the uh, green garden here, and then we've also got some construction on the uh, edible garden. I, along with some other folks from our church, we want to just be involved in the community, serve our neighbors and the local schools around us. My name's Haley. My name's Kelly. We're here at our school, Gregory Gardens Elementary and we're helping volunteer to clean the school. My name is Jacob McIntyre and I'm part of the um, DVC Lacrosse Club. And uh, I'm here with uh, all my teammates just helping, helping the community out by coming to this elementary school and uh, fixing up the garden and we're just doing whatever we can to help out the community here. And that's about it. Well, we're doing it mainly just for the good feeling inside, of course. Uh, it always feels good to help someone else out, so. Um, other than that, it's just just the right thing to do. My name is Chris Rowney. It's awesome to get our our whole team here and have a little team bonding uh, as well and just uh, get a little more camaraderie as well as develop more chemistry on the team. David and Victoria Steinberger. We go to Oak Park Community Church and uh, the church wants to volunteer in the community where it uh, is alive. So we're, uh, we're here to happily serve the community. We understand that this uh, garden area here was kind of a shambles before, and anything we were gonna do was gonna make an improvement, and uh, hopefully we've accomplished that a little bit. Lauren Katz. We're painting the 50 states for fun, and so all the kids can like step on it and learn like, oh, I think I know the state, and I know what cap what's the capital, and we're having a lot of fun. My name is Noel Louthen. It's Community Service Day in Pleasant Hill, and I have two children that uh, attend Strandwood Elementary. They're doing lots of cleanup, yard cleanup, um, trimming uh, the bushes, pulling weeds, uh, painting the curb, the red and the yellow zones on the curb in the parking lot. We've painted the blue line down the hallways, which is what the kids follow when they're going to lunch and from recess and such. Uh, just generally, just trying to make Strandwood uh, even prettier. This is the second year in Strandwood. We were here last year as well. And the year before, we worked at Rogers Ranch. It's just a lot of fun. It's, we have we know lots of the families that come and do it. Um, so it's good to see everybody. Like I said, my kids attend here, so obviously I'd like them to have as good, a, as good an experience as possible here. All right, so what are you guys' names? Isaac. Asher. Asher. Isaac. Well, we're supposed to, like, paint the St United States over in the little kid playground. Mm -hmm. I'm Denise Korislev, uh, president of Friends of Rogers Ranch. We are at Rogers Ranch, which was uh, a site, uh, it was originally a 149 acre wheat farm built uh, in 1867. And um, Friends of Rogers Ranch was formed in 1991 to uh, raise money to restore the property. Members from the community come out and help pull weeds and um, spread um, wood chips and do trimming and uh, clean up and it's been a wonderful wonderful thing for the ranch for the site and we really appreciate it. I just enjoy giving back to the community. I also um, really like historic preservation 
And I think it's very important that we preserve our history and um, expose children to it. It's a hands-on um, kind of demonstration of what life was like in the 1800s. And this is the only 19th century building that uh, is still open to the public. I'm Kelly. We're out at Rogers Ranch and um, we're up the hill at what is called Rogers Ranch Urban Farm and Teaching Gardens. And this is a garden that started by a master gardener and her husband. It is um, a garden that is kind of something to bring the community together so we can learn about biointensive gardening, about uh, organic gardening, um, what can grow in our really hard clay soil. And I've really enjoyed it. I've been Hi, I'm John Pierce. I'm the new principal at Fair Oaks. I'm new to the district, to Mount Diablo District as well. I feel really lucky to have so many volunteers show up at once to do maybe a small project, but it's going to look good and it's going to make us feel good about the school. So I'm kind of excited to, to get this done. My name is Christine Sampson and I am here along with the Rotary Club and we're here for the Fair Oaks School beautification and what they did is they're digging a little mow strip area and putting down some pretty mulch and cleaning away some debris that has built up and then we're going to top it all off with some pretty new flowers. It's one of the things I wanted to do is make relationships, build relationships with the wider community and it sort of fell into my lap so I'm real real happy about the way it's working out. I think it's a great opportunity for me and I bring my two boys, my young boys. It's a good opportunity for them to get out of the normal routine and show some community spirit and doing things for somebody else which I think is a great thing to teach them at a young age and it's also a great opportunity to just get out there we have we start the day off with a fun pancake breakfast and everybody getting up early on a Saturday morning it's just a lot of fun so uh, my name is Andrew Cummings I'm the coordinator for the Sequoia Elementary cleanup which is part of Pleasant Hill Community Service Day and uh, basically we have parents who are volunteers coming out pulling lots of weeds uh, and just doing general cleanup on the campus. Also, last year we did major pruning and lots of dead plants were removed, so this year we have lots of room for new planting. With the budget cuts for schools, I mean, parents really have to put forth an effort to make up that difference. So every little bit that we can do you know, helps. And uh, my part is just to make sure that we have nice plants that the kids can enjoy around the campus. They just need to see different types of plants and understand how plants grow, and it's, uh, I think, a, a good life lesson for them. I'm helping the parents pull out the weeds and I'm playing with my friends. Hi, I'm Monica Olson with the Pleasant Hill Instructional Garden. I'm the teacher in charge of the, of the garden, which started in 2007 as a water conservation demonstration garden. Today, our volunteers are working on several projects to help us both um, develop the garden and also fix things or repair things. So we are always continually composting and mulching, which is improving the soil. We're also working on our bog area, which has some plants that have overgrown a bit and need to be divided so they can put into our meadow area, which we're also then developing and working on. Volunteers are great. They're the reason this garden has come into being. It's an all-volunteer project. And so in five years, this garden has come to be because of all of the community support from volunteers. Community Service Day is a great day annually for the community to uh, come out and support what's going on in their communities, whether it's at their schools or in parks or gardens like here. My name is Tony Gallardo. I'm a teacher at Pleasant Hill Middle School, and this was our Make a Difference Day. We've been doing this for probably 
almost a dozen years now. Uh, today, we've, we're really focusing on cleaning. Uh, we washed a lot of walls, we did a lot of cleaning around the planters, tried to get them looking better, uh, gum scraping, just things generally just to make the campus look better, cleaner, crisper. One of the things that I desire and I would, learn, I would love my daughter to know about is how to give back to the community. So we like to be part of that of Pleasant Hill. We live in Pleasant Hill, we would like to give back to Pleasant Hill. And uh, doing what we do today, everybody doing what they do today is giving back to the community. So the community of Pleasant Hill has done us well, so we're trying to give back a little. It's just a lot of fun. We always get a lot of people from the community, get to see kids come out, get to work and doing things normally you don't get to see people doing. Hi, uh, my name's Brune. I like to volunteer because it just makes me feel better about helping my community. We're volunteering with our church. Honestly, because my mom made me, but it, it we want feels... We to love our neighbors. <laughs> it feels really nice to just help out and clean up a different school. I'm Stephanie Jacob. I'm one of the garden coordinators here at College Park, the organic garden. The kids work in the garden every week, but we use this community service day as a time to totally clean it up so that it's ready for the students to work in it. I really thought I wasn't doing much for the community and I thought this would help a lot. Well, I'm here to help out the community. Um, this also this gives me a great chance to hang out with my friends. So. Uh, it's, it's really been a blast so far. Ann Baker, Allied Waste. We were more than happy to bring about 10 yards of compost um, for to spread into the garden beds, so refresh the beds. I appreciate working for a company that does support these types of things in the community. Like, it's beautiful. What do you get out of volunteering? It's incredible. You get so much more than you put in. Hi, I'm Heidi. I am the manager of the Pleasant Hill Library and we're so excited to have so many volunteers uh, out here today. We've, I think we've got about 200 people volunteering today. Several different projects that people are working on. We have some folks painting our brand new meeting room. So we'll have a free community space for people to hold meetings. We've already gotten some interest from some Boy Scout troops and a meditation group. And we are also cleaning the picture books. Lots of sticky hands holding those. Uh, every day so we've cleaned every single picture book. We also have a big project we're moving a lot of books. We're trying to open up more spaces for comfortable uh, reading couches, more study tables so we're moving some books around to, to open up the space and we're just so happy to see so many community members. Volunteering is a big part of what we uh, what we promote at the library. We have about 70 people who volunteer with us every week and it's just such a great way to, to give back to the community. I mean that's I think that's everyone who works at the library that's near and dear to our hearts. That's what drew us to this kind of work is we want to be of service to the community. So it's amazing to see so many people, so many uh, community members come out to be of service to their fellow neighbors. I'm Dr. Angela Hodgkiss. I'm the principal here at Pleasant Hill Elementary. We are so fortunate to have our families, um, even just uh, local neighbors who don't have students here at Pleasant Hill. Um, out here, we're doing a lot of painting. We've got all of our paw prints. We've uh, redefined the crosswalk. We've also um, made some planters for the students so that they have um, um, some uh, vegetation and things that they're they're growing and, and maintaining all year long. Um, we also have the entire multi-use room being repapered so that we have our pillars of character up. So um, really, really proud of the turnout. Uh, hi, my name's Connie. I'm a volunteer parent here at Pleasant Hill Elementary School. Today's Make a Difference Day. We chose to spruce up the classroom numbers um, on the blacktop out in the playground and also line up lines in, in a bright blue, bright orange color, festive. It's also the school colors and it's just going to be so exciting on Monday morning when the kids come back to school. Uh, the city, along with Walnut Creek, received the Helen Putnam Award at the California League of Cities meeting in San Diego last week and that was to recognize Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hills uh, endeavor into this community service day and being some of the first in the state of California to provide this opportunity for its residents and receive recognition on a statewide basis. So we're very proud of the program. I just encourage anybody who is watching this that hasn't come and taken part in the Community Service Day to get out here and join us next year. Thank you. All right.